Hello there, and welcome back. What we're going to do in this video is find the exact value of sine of the sum of angles, x and y, given cosine x is negative 1 half, and tangent of y is 3 fourths, where angle x is between pi over 2 and pi, meaning that it terminates in quadrant 2, and y is between 0 and pi over 2, meaning that it terminates somewhere in quadrant 1. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is write the expression for sine of x plus y using the sum of angles formula so that we know which values of trig functions of x and y that are needed. So sine of x plus y is equal to sine x cosine y plus cosine x times sine y. Okay. So, so far we are given the value of cosine of x, and that is pretty much it right now. So, what we need to do is use the given information to find the values of the other trig functions of each angle. So, starting with angle x. Now, we know that cosine x is equal to negative 1 half. So, we could use Pythagorean identity to find sine of x, since that's the one that we need. So, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1 is our Pythagorean identity. We know that cosine x is negative 1 half. So that means this is negative 1 half squared. And that is 1 fourth. Subtract 1 fourth from both sides. And now apply the square root to both sides. So that means sine of x normally is plus or minus the square root of 3 fourths, which is plus or minus square root 3 over 2. Now, since x is in quadrant 2, sine of x is positive. So the value of sine of x that is relevant to this problem is sine of x equals square root 3 divided by 2. Okay, to find the values of sine y and cosine y, notice that y is between 0 and pi over 2, which means that it's in the first quadrant, which means we can also use a right triangle to find the, the trig functions of angle y. So I'm going to draw a right triangle with angle y, and we know the tangent of y is 3 fourths, which means that the opposite over the adjacent is 3 fourths. So 3 is the opposite, 4 is the adjacent. If you go through the Pythagorean theorem, you would find that the hypotenuse is 5. So this means that sine of y is equal to 3 fifths, and cosine of y is equal to 4 fifths. So now we have all of the values that we need in order to evaluate the sine of x plus y. And I didn't leave enough room, so I'm going to have to copy that down again here. So sine of x plus y is equal to sine x cosine y plus cosine x sine y. Okay, so sine of x is square root 3 over 2. Cosine y is 4 fifths. Cosine x was given as negative 1 half sine y is 3 fifths, and now we simplify. So this is 4 square root 3 divided by 10 minus 3 over 10. Again, notice I'm not reducing that first fraction to lowest terms because I want to keep the same denominator so that it is easier to combine the fractions. So you have 4 square root 3 minus 3 all over 10, and that is the value of sine of x plus y.